evening. I'm Christy Casciano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. An accidentally opened gas valve in the basement is being blamed for fueling that home explosion on Syracuse's north side Tuesday afternoon. Tonight, a spokesperson for Upstate Hospital says a baby and two toddlers are still in critical condition. And now two parents are classified as critical. News Channel 9's Andrew Donovan tells us more about the investigation. What we could only see from the road, Captain Joe Fennell saw up close. Would you describe what it was like in, in the, the deepest parts of that pile? Oh yeah, it was, there was a lot of ruin. There was a lot of, uh, again, things thrown apart. Uh, walls had collapsed, this, this, the ceiling, it was the floor joists of the first floor were caved into the first floor, or into the basement. There was water leaking because, you know, the pipes had broken. It, it just, it was kind of surreal. He determined the explosion was caused by natural gas flowing from an unused dryer hookup. May have been someone accidentally turning it on and not knowing what it was. But some knew the smell. The man who owns the rented home confirms to investigators he detected the odor of natural gas when he pulled into his office right next door around 9 that morning. Never called into 911. Fuel filled the basement for at least seven hours. There was a refrigerator. There was also a natural gas powered water heater and also a natural gas furnace. Any one of those uh, in their normal operation, if they you know, would have turned on, could have been enough to set off that perfect fuel air mixture. A blast that crumbled the basement's concrete walls, collapsing the house on top hurting 12 of the 13 people inside. The difficult times are not through. Uh, the family has uh, a lot of recovering to do and, and certain members of the family have even more. So um, these families are gonna get, continue to need our thoughts, our prayers, and our support. The fire chief thinks the explosion and gas leak could have been prevented if the unused pipe had been properly capped off. Had that been a complaint to the city of Syracuse, it could have been deemed a codes violation. Live in Syracuse, Andrew Donovan, News Channel 9. Andrew, thank you for your coverage and for continuing coverage on the investigation. Be sure to check back to localsyr.com.